Uh, so niggas get out of school drowning in debt. Life said, fuck your cap and gown. I am the captain now. Let's see what these fools prepared you for. Mm. Your surroundings got you feeling boxed in, got your confidence on the floor. Cause this nigga still on the block, but his body got choked out. Cause Ooh. the nigga got popped, or they got that iron on their wrist. Cause they got tired of out running the cops. See, we used to be strange fruit on the trees. Now it's blood on the concrete from the boys and poor, from the ones with the same skin tone as me. Mm. We be screaming Black Lives Matter, watch another black mother life shatter when them gunshots rip through her baby boy. Mm. They say it's liberty and justice for all, but with this skin tone, you know this shit null and void. Cause mm. these black babies get outside, guys, in the same type of bullets as the troops getting deployed. Mm. So tell me, where do we go when our skin tone automatically puts us in the war zone? Rihanna Taylor got shot up in her sleep. Tell me what it feel like to know that you're not even sick inside of your home. Ooh. Like how you got your hands up screaming, don't shoot, but they still getting caught to the fine talking like you're wrong. Seeing the qualities and inconsistencies in the courtroom against black people go hand in hand. Tell me why we still don't got the side mug shot of Sandra Bland. Come on. Ooh. At this point, existing while black gotta be considered taking a risk because these cops is out here killing niggas and don't even get a slap on the wrist. Come on. And we started as a routine traffic stop, ended in gunshots, and the verdict don't change after the riots and boycotts. Ooh. So all I'm seeing is the faces of black men, women, and children being painted as villains. I guess it's pitting it means you fit the description of someone under suspicion. And it's been a long time coming, but I know I'm not bugging when I say that the change almost feels non existent. Cause from the days of slavery to today, I can hardly see the difference. The cops are legally out here killing black men and women. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but a subtle form of lynching. They say we got this one nation for which it stands after being built and held together by black and brown hands cause we went straight to the fields after the auctions free from slavery and pushed to the projects where the final destination is either a jail cell or a coffin. We see this shit happen so often. And they want to run around a problem and act like they don't see the privileged shoes when they walk in. I'm gonna stop right there. Mm. about the time when I was trying to write a piece and I had writer's block. So I went through my memo app to try to find some bars and I found a memo called Final Letter. Mm. And to my surprise, it wasn't a poem. It was filled with apologies and I love yous to the ones that I leave behind. Just in case the day comes when they evolve from just thoughts to actions of suicide and I might have mentioned your name. I'm trying to reassure you that you're not the one to blame. I know that you tried and so did I, but neither one of our voices was loud enough to silence the sound of these demons inside. Mm -hmm. I tried. Mm -hmm. I tried to explain it. I had a couple moments of happiness here and there, and I tried to maintain it, but sadness stole most of the expressions from my face. Maybe I'm overly sensitive to trauma. And this cycle of thinking that I gotta handle everything on my own is what I'm trapped in because I always seem to feel safe in the words that never became actions and I broke so many bad habits just to see myself going back in, back into the same defense mechanisms that I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. That give it a fuck is seeing how long you can put up with some shit that you normally wouldn't take. Like, how long can I go out my comfort zone and make sure that I deliver as I watch people make a game out of my triggers, making a mess out of my emotions? Mm -hmm. I paint my traumas into these pieces hoping that they make a home here instead of in my mind. But they living in my head rent free, so it's like regardless of the amount of support that I receive, I still feel empty and everything is going to be okay. There's some shit that I just don't believe because the pattern shows me that the slightest sign of happiness means that it's going to be interrupted by trauma. Mm. Maybe it's just sleepless nights all around the corner. Or maybe sleeping excessively because that's the closest thing that I can get to to death. And I used to be able to be optimistic, but I got to keep it a buck with you. I'm afraid of what comes next. So lately, lately happiness been a feeling that I try to ignore. Because it's like for every blessing I get, trauma tries to even the score for every fraction of hope despairs the common denominator and the way that I wake up to the sound of suicidal thoughts is a little too frequent. I don't think it's normal. Mm -hmm. But anytime anybody asks me if I'm okay, I'm so used to keeping it cordial because me being strong enough to fake happy keeps everybody around me comfortable. You see the brightest of my face is still comfortable because every time I say I'm fine, they believe me. Mm -hmm. And anytime I tell them I'm thinking about dying, they tell me that they need me, but that's the problem. And at times I can feel myself spiraling and I like that a big part of me is fine with it so now I can't feel okay with the home within myself because inside ain't safe and now these four walls get to watch me break and I'm starting to feel like I need more than a therapist. Mm. But I can't keep trying this, this positive shit, this mindfulness of stress management tips. I need more than that. I need a person or a place that can make me feel safe while I can give genuine love without receiving pain in exchange. I need Ooh. to feel nothing. Ooh. Kind of like the way this trauma numbed me up because life is easier when you don't give a fuck. And even though I don't feel like my true self and I'm like that, it works for me because I can't seem to stop loving the ones that keep hurting me. So the day that I wake up and I decide to speak up for myself, don't take that shit personally because for years I've been a punching back to life and people ask me why I don't like to ask for help because I feel more alone when I'm with them than when I'm by myself. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's like they just let me talk but they don't ever listen. Mm -hmm. So the only form of connection that they got with me is when they reminiscing. Now every day I wake up and I say that I'm over shit but I still try to make even the slightest effort into getting better so that nobody that I listed in that memo has to receive that final letter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So if y'all want to follow me, you can follow me at uh, underscore artist x poet underscore. Again, that is underscore artist x poet underscore. I also have an EP out. It's called Five. It's in my life. Hell yeah.